Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video we are going to look at this NB10,000 energy brick lightweight power bank from Nightcore. Now before we get too far I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Nightcore who did provide this for review. Now power banks to me are I would say one of those pieces of gear that can be kind of underrated. The ability to quickly easily and efficiently charge your gear while you're out on the trails or in an EDC and urban environment is definitely a must. Now again, when I say in the wilderness backpacking camping application or out in the EDC urban environment, well, that's a reality for me. Now, if you're anything like I am, I do actually really split my time pretty evenly between my time out in the wilderness and my time in the urban EDC environment. I mean, for me, getting out into the outdoor is my passion. It is what has built this channel. And for me to even get out and do what I do, I greatly rely on power banks. Now, power banks for me are something that I've gone through an evolution. I know what works for me. I know what doesn't. And I can tell you already, something in that 10,000 milliamp hour range is definitely sweet. So what we're going to do is I have recently gone on a backpacking and camping trip using this NB10,000 energy bank for my power bank source. I have some field use footage. I'm going to roll it in. Then we're going to come back into the studio and we're going to look through the details. Now, if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor. Stay tuned. So I'm out here in this beautiful remote wilderness getting some camping in have my setup ready to go sun's going down it's getting dark it's been a long day of filming and hiking and just enjoying the outdoors but one thing that is extremely important to me is my ability to charge my gear between my camera equipment and my phone and, you know been using this thing all day using it as a GPS using it as a camera and uh, additionally my camera equipment it's really important to me to charge things up and I have a full day ahead of me tomorrow so at this point I am really relying on this Nightcore NB 10,000 power brick and so I'm hoping this will give me the power that I need this has legitimately been in the cold all day near sub freezing conditions so it'll be interesting to see how it performs I'm curious about the overall battery life at this point and if it's fully charged it was absolutely fully charged before we came out but now I'm really curious you'll see that it has a USB connector as well as a USB type C that's going to work out well for me where I have two devices that I need to charge. So I have a USB type C by USB type C adapter for my phone and then the standard USB to micro USB connector for my camera. So I should be able to get both of these devices charged up and ready to go for tomorrow. I have a full day ahead of me and I am absolutely relying on this equipment to be charged up and ready to go. Now this is the smallest power brick I've had yet with a capacity at 10,000 milliamp hours. So this should do a good job charging my equipment. I've never had a problem with a 10,000 milliamp hour battery being able to do the work. Charging my phone a couple times and my camera batteries a couple times, not a big deal. And as you look here, it is quite thin, which is nice and just has a beautiful look. A carbon fiber look on the outside, absolutely awesome. I think this is a great looking power brick and not that it has to look great. I think that's sort of secondary to the overall function, but bottom line is when something looks good, hopefully it'll perform well too. I guess we'll see. But tonight, definitely gonna get these, you know, cameras and batteries all ready to go for a great day out in the mountains tomorrow. Now here you can see the power button as I depress that it does light up and I'll have to look back. We'll go back to the studio. I thought it had four bars when it was fully charged. It's possible that it's only three, but there you can clearly see three bars. Now that is nice and easy to see right now. However, I can tell you that um, if it was brighter out, it is a little difficult to see. 
other power banks that I have do actually have a little bit of an easier indicator to see. This one's just a little bit tough. Not a big deal, uh, but just a subtle detail. And I don't mind it in the idea being that this is such a small form factor. Integrating the lights into the power button, not a big deal. And that's sort of secondary again to the overall function of the power bank itself. So I'm really concerned with the overall capability of this to do a good job charging my gear. That's the primary goal. And secondary is definitely the form and the overall, I don't know, just some of the little features. But again, not a big deal. Mostly worried about performance and we'll see how that goes. Good morning. Beautiful day out here. Nice early start to my day out here on the pond. And as you can see, the Nightcore NB10000 Energy Brick doing its job very nicely to charge my phone overnight. No problems at all. Now taking a look at it here as I depress the button, here you will see it still indicates three lights. So this did not drain on the uh, power pack too much. I mean, just to charge up my phone, no problem. I did not charge my camera batteries. I have two of them uh, and opted not to get into that overnight because it can be a little bit of a pain for me. Um, but getting my phone up and operational for the day, that's a big deal. And in that regard, I'm definitely in good shape. So, all right, there you have it. The field use footage using this Nightcore NB10000 Energy Brick. So, this to me is really the best power bank I have had yet. I mean, absolutely perfect in terms of the performance and the overall size and form factor. Now, I do have some power banks that I've used in the past that I would like to look at in a little bit of detail. And this is gonna be a perfect opportunity to show you the iteration that I have gone through. So first is here you can see this Life Charge power bank. Now, in all reality, this is a little over 16,000 milliamp hours. But as you look at it here, it is quite large. Now, this did have some advantages where I did have multiple outputs I had a dedicated charging port, has a nice indicator on the front, which shows me the percentage left, and really performs very, very well. I have had this for about, I would say, five solid years with no problems, holds a charge, charges my gear no problem from my phones. I can actually run my tablet PC off of this if I need to. No problem, but for me, where it was limited is in that outdoor hiking camping and backpacking application. I really needed to shed some weight. And so that's where this Anchor Power Core 2 10,000 milliamp hour power bank came into play. Now this is an item that I really wanted to do a review on. I never got around to it. This has been my go-to power bank now for two full years of hiking, camping, and backpacking, as well as my urban EDC option. Now in full disclosure, I do pretty much use this one in my urban day pack. So this does make it most times in my EDC. Again, works out well to potentially charge not just my phone, but my flashlights and also power up my tablet if I need a little more juice. But out in the wilderness and on the trails, this anchor has been spectacular. Each and every video you have ever seen me produce out in the wilderness has relied on this to keep me going. The fact that my phone is charged and gives me my GPS, and I also use my phone for video as well as photos. So all the media you see produced is because of my ability to keep on the move using this Anchor battery. Not just on the move in the wilderness, but I use this at the trade shows. So my battery life at both Blade Show and Shot Show, that is a rigorous task. So this Anchor battery has been a stellar performer. But now moving forward, and the reason why we're here is to talk about the Nightcore NB10000 Energy Brick. 
Now, this, again, is really upping the ante for me. So what Nightcore has been doing very, very well, and if you look, for example, at their flashlights, and recently we took a look at this Tip SE, Nightcore has been doing a great job at reducing their overall form factor. So getting smaller and smaller high performance battery operated flashlights and in this case bringing the technology down to this nice small form factor power bank. And that to me makes a big difference. Now the difference is subtle, however when you do look at the difference between the Anchor and this Nightcore, it becomes fairly substantial. Now we're going to do a little bit of math soon to talk about the exact differences here. But just as a visual, you can see there is an overall size difference. And not only just the size, but the weight. And in reality, when you're talking about the backpacking genre in that particular sport, well, people will always tell you, ounces matter. And volume is also a big deal. So again, I'm going to run some numbers here, and we're going to take a look at this in a little bit more detail to show you my findings. So now here looking at some of the data that I gathered to compare these. Well you can see I've made a very significant improvement in my overall bulk and weight. So if you look at where I started, this was 3 inches by 5.5 inches by 3 quarter inches for a total of 12.375 cubic inches. Moving down to the anchor, 2.5 inches by 5.25 inches by a half an inch. Well that dropped me almost in half to 6.53 cubic inches. Now, the way this works is 6.563 is 53% of 12.375. So in essence, I had a 47% reduction in my overall volume. And when you look at it in terms of weight, the life charge was 12.3 ounces, with the anchor being 7.3 ounces, which is 59% of the size. So here I had a 41% reduction in the overall weight. So that was a huge improvement for me jumping between the life charge and the anchor. But now moving forward from the anchor to the night core. Well, you can see the night core is 2.25 inches by 4.75 inches by 7 16 of an inch being 4.676 cubic inches which is 71% of the size of the Anchor battery. So in other words, I have a 29% reduction in the overall volume. And when you look at the ounces, 7.3 versus 5.3, even though that looks like a small number, in reality, 5.3 is 73% of 7.3 ounces. So that means I have a 27% reduction. Let's just say that's one quarter. So this here, the night core, is 25% smaller in terms of size and volume compared to the anchor for the same performance. Now let's talk it through to the end of my kit. If you could make a 25% reduction on all of my gear with that same exact philosophy, that would mean I'd go from a 40 pound pack to a 30 pound pack. And that is a massive, massive difference. That would mean I would go from a 60 liter bag to probably about a 45 liter bag. Again, a massive difference. So if you take the philosophy that you can take the same amount of performance, reduce the overall size, and reduce the overall weight across a backpacking kit, well, that's a home run. Now, in terms of the EDC application, that also comes into play. If you look at your typical EDC style backpacks, well, size is of a premium. And let's really talk it through. Some of the pockets that you get, well, it might not be the most conducive to fitting something huge like this. You could probably get away with the Anchor. I could say you can definitely get away, in a lot of cases, with the Nightcore NB10000. And so now getting into it in a little more detail, again, you have the battery power bank. So the NB10000 Energy Brick, as they call it. Very, very nice, lightweight and compact, as we mentioned. And I've shown you some of the features. Now, as we look closely, this does have two outputs, which really worked out well for me. This gives me the ability to plug in your typical USB and also, for my needs, a double-ended USB Type-C connector. So this does come in the packaging with a USB Type-C 
which you will use to actually charge this. So your port here is both your input and your output. So your charging input as well as an output if you need it. And it comes with a cable, which is nice. Now, these days, I have mentioned a number of times recently on my channel that I've been upgrading all of my cables to a USB Type-C. That makes this another great big advantage over some of my other options out there. Now, in reality, that definitely helps me with my charging input, and it also helps me with some of my output, but... In terms of output, I'm still at the mercy of some of the other gear that I'm carrying that requires a micro USB connector. So I am still carrying a small assortment of cables. This USB Type-C changeover isn't perfect, but it's getting there slowly but surely. And I'm really glad to see that Nightcore is playing well with that, with this NB10000. Now, one of the things I said while we were out in the field is that I thought this had four LED indicators. The reality is it's only three. So three lights indicating that it's still close to 100%. Two lights would be close to 70%. And one light on that means it's close to 30%. Now, I've already used this to charge my phone at least once from, I'd say, mid-battery. So around the 50% mark, um, I'm currently using an Android S20 uh, 5G Ultra. So really, this is doing the job nicely. You can see it still has a full charge. I have not recharged this yet. And for me, I will draw this battery all the way down before I get into charging it again, unless I go on a trip. So if this becomes part of my EDC carry and I am using it to regularly charge my gear, I'll make sure I run that battery all the way down before I charge it again. Give this a good long life, I hope. And as we charge this up, you can see the indicator there flashing. So I am at two thirds full, getting to that third bar there. Those three bars, once they're completely full, will indicate that I'm at 100%. So there you can see using the USB Type-C charger, no problem. So as I mentioned, it does come with the cable, comes with your warranty card. Here you can see the packaging, nicely done. And your instruction manual. So not too much to this, very straightforward, gives you some of the technical data and the details in case you're interested. But other than that, I greatly enjoy this form factor. It's beautiful. I love the carbon fiber. It looks very nice. Now I have scuffed this up a little bit. To be honest with you, I don't care. My best gear has hard use patina. So if this is going to get a little use patina on it, because I've carried it and I've used it and I've brought it out into the wilderness and I've enjoyed it and it's performed, well, that's the purpose and I greatly like it. So very impressive. I am very happy with this. And I think Nightcore does a wonderful job, not just with their flashlights as a whole, but with their batteries and most specifically the direction they're moving in their small form factor gear. So, all right, guys, there you have it. A look at the Nightcore NB10000 Energy Brick. Again, I'd like to say thank you very much to the people at Nightcore for providing this for review. I greatly enjoy Nightcore products. It doesn't matter whether they're provided for review or whether I buy their products. I'm not just a reviewer, I'm also a customer of Nightcore and I do greatly enjoy their products. The further and further I get with their products, I'm starting to really appreciate them. Not just from their overall quality in terms of their gear, but the people that I'm working with, the customer experience. I've had some very good luck with Nightcore and I think that comes into play when you're talking about a product. Not just the overall quality of the product, but the quality of the people that represent the brand. So again, I'd like to say thank you very much to the people at Nightcore for their endless service and the quality that they're providing. And overall, greatly enjoying this power brick. Now, moving forward, this is the critical piece of my gear. Until the next 10,000 milliamp hour battery comes out that's even smaller and lighter than this, there's no reason for me to change. So this is gonna get endless use, endless field time, and endless testing. So this, to me, critical gear, underrated gear and something that for most people, whether you need it for the outdoor application or that EDC urban environment, it's definitely a critical piece of gear and something I think you would greatly enjoy. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. Hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.